It is winding down though. The time is for folks who want to make it here to go see the game. We are seeing Bengals fans getting creative in their ways to try to get any tickets, their hands on any tickets. You know, WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller spoke to a few people who are willing to do whatever it takes. <laughs> It's the energy in the air and across the internet. Bengals fans want a piece of the big game action. 10 grand is a lot of money to raise. But this duo is willing to do whatever it takes to make that dream a reality. So we've raised about 1500 from our family and friends so far. And now we're um, kind of opening it up on GoFundMe to do random snow raising related challenges. Like snowballs to the face, running barefoot on the cold ice are just a few. And now decking out their vehicle, letting you know how to donate so they can get to L.A. But you may be asking, why should you care? We're now their good luck. We're charm. obviously the good luck charm. <laughs> Before they created their, quote, super begging GoFundMe, the couple was already living on the edge quitting their corporate jobs in Washington and selling everything they own to live life organically. Basically jumped off cliff after cliff after cliff of just living our dreams. A year and a half ago, the new dream became living for the Bengals. Well, why don't we just go for a season? So yeah, we sold everything, quit jobs, packed up, uh, moved across the country. Um, and now we're in love with Ohio. We're definitely here to stay. It's home. And the two are not alone. GoFundMe pages for Bengals fans are popping up every day, like this one for Meg, a woman who's deaf. She recently got a $1,000 donation from Zach Taylor's wife, Sarah. The last time the Bengals were in the Super Bowl, there was one choice. You could watch it on television, usually from home. Um, that was it. Dom Caristi, a professor of media at Ball State University, says the invention of online crowdsourcing has opened up new doors for fans. Unless you had a rich relative who could who could get tickets for you, that was uh, it was challenging pre-internet. Now you can you can run GoFundMe, Kickstarters. Sherelle and Jennifer hope they reach their goal of twelve thousand dollars, but say if they can't. We will be donating it all to charity, but we're not giving up just yet because there is still, you know, a solid week to fundraise. Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.